Howdy y'all, John Daniels from Daniels Woodland. Hey, today we're gonna be taking out our big gigantic saw, El Jefe. Big gigantic saw, it's 13 feet long. It's pretty dang crazy. And we're gonna be cutting at one of our old big stumps over there that we pulled out of the forest. It's a 2,000 year old stump. It's been down in the forest since the 1950s. We've pulled it out and now today we get to make slices. We're gonna take those slices, sand them up, count the rings, and that way we can put little time little dates on there to show you exactly how old this log really is before we get cutting the big log we have to prep our saw and that's one important detail you always have to remember if you don't keep these saws running and tuned just right they're not going to do the job for you so rather than you doing all the work we make the saw do the work so today we get to clean up the saw and i like to use my best friend the blaster blaster this stuff works really good and the reason why i like this stuff is you can get in here and spray these little bolts now we haven't used a saw in a while, so we have to make sure these bolts are loose because they'll, they'll freeze up on you in just a matter of time. Okay, we use it here. Other little places I like to use it is when we clean our saw. I actually spray that blaster and I get my old toothbrush out. I won't reuse it again. And I'll get in here and I'll clean up all these parts. And what this does is it cuts up old debris, dirt, oil um, sometimes you get pine sap in there well this stuff eats that up for breakfast so we we cut it real good and lube it all up so this is actually the blaster penetrating oil and what that does is it gets in there and cuts up all that stuff and maybe a little slight bit of rust you know these things sit around because we don't use a saw every day so it'll sit around and gum up from you know dirt and moisture from the wood all this stuff, so it's important that we go in there and clean this stuff up real nice. You thought brushing your teeth was hard. <laughs> now believe it or not, redwood has sap a lot like pine. You'll hit pockets of it, and it's like honey. And it sticks on the chain, it sticks in parts, and then you put your saw away, and then it turns into a crystal, kind of like hardens like, a, you know, in the prehistoric days, it would actually trap bugs and things. As you can see the sap building up on the blades right here, and that'll build up over time and it gums up the chain. So every once in a while we like to take this blaster in there and just literally put it on the chain, you know, and kind of keep it clean and free of debris. And then later we'll come back and grease it all up. But for now we want to cut all that old dirt and grease and sap and things off the chain. And we'll do this all the way around the chain. So one other detail I want to show you, watch this, you spray this stuff right in here like that. A lot of people don't do this, and I got myself a special little tool, but watch the stuff that comes out of this. You see all that grime? Look at that. Okay, that's oil, dirt, sawdust, and everything that accumulates in the chain. Now that blaster gets in there and it allows, it breaks this stuff down where it's not so darn hard anymore. And now the oil can flow in there properly and then the chain sits in there real nice. What happens is this stuff packs, packs, packs and it almost turns like concrete and then your chain starts to ride up high and then it'll prematurely wear out your bar and your chain. It also keeps uh, things like my brake. You know, this is important to have a brake. This is called a brake. Make sure that brake's working free. In case this thing ever kicks back on you, this is a kickback brake. So it's all about the prep work and the maintenance on your saw. You know, you love them and they'll love you back. They'll do all the work for you. A lot of people skip this step, but it makes your life a lot easier if you spend a little time cleaning it up. And that's about it for now. Now we're uh, pretty well lubed up and we tighten this guy up. And then we're ready to haul this over to the log and get cutting. Watch out guys, there's about to be a storm in here, a sawdust storm. 